Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is the Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I am a dream usher, so I focus on sleep, dreams, and the imagination to create an environment where people can learn to be better versions of themselves. I pressed my little thingy a little too late, but hello! It has been a while. Hope everyone had a wonderful end to 2023, a wonderful start to 2024. Here's to many more days into the start. And you may notice a thing. We're now on 1080p. <laughs> I decided to want to test the limits a little bit more of my 1660 Super, considering it's a much higher grade than the than the graphics card that I had at the start of 2023. And yeah, I'm not getting any encoder errors that I was worried about before. I think 1080p is going to be the standard from the start of this year on. I am beyond excited because I want to be able to give you guys better content. And I have plenty of ideas. And also plenty of goals. I forgot to create a to, to create a goal more specifically for Ricardo, but I know exactly what we can do for that. But that said, speaking of goals, a lot of folks have been doing this thing of like, oh, instead of like New Year resolutions, just having like basic goals that they want to go for. So I want to give that a shot. So. I actually have a picture of a set of goals that I want to go for that I wrote on my phone. I just need to pull it up. Ugh. Had a burp there. Uh, where are you at, buddy? Also, I am hoping that if slash whenever I have the money and feel comfortable to that I can put some money down so that we can have emotes over here on Picardo. That said, uh, we do have some goals through the course of 2024. So the first one, which will be a standard, not just when it comes to streaming, but also for the community and for all my socials, less community polls. Like I wrote here, we originally did polls to ensure that we could make content that folks enjoy, but we've grown more confident to make content that we want people drawn to. It's with that that we hope for less polls and help that the community feels that we are not overly reliant on polls. While we have meant like polls like here, everyone's interested like, hey, want to be sure that we're making stuff that y'all enjoy. At the same time, we need to be more confident and we need to put in the effort, like we as in myself and my system, have to put in more, more effort to be confident enough to push ourselves to do stuff that we already like and create an atmosphere that people enjoy while doing stuff that we love. And while streaming and gaming in general are already stuff that we love, at the same time, we've come to the conclusion frankly, a little bit late, that people come to enjoy whatever we enjoy. Because what we put in first already is already something that people are intrigued about and what and how people step in to enjoy our content. So we're going to be making a lot more moves personally going forward. Um, next one, specifically regarding Twitch is that we're hoping to get a funny number of 420 followers by the end of the year, along with 150 Discord members. We are very close to 100 members when excluding the uh, bots for events and whatnot in our Discord, and we are beyond excited and, re and relieved for this and extremely humbled. Um, we would love to try and continue to push things further. 420 is just the funny number there, because why not? But, you know what, if we get to like 500 on Twitch, 
that would be an absolute fucking banger. Now, for a similar thing on Picardo here, I would love to get to a minimum of like 50 folks here on Picardo by year's end. And I feel like we got plenty of time for that, to be honest. Um, obviously, streams here on Picardo will continue to be once a week, but they will be archived over on the official archive channel. Um, now, as a note, we have talked about wanting to make um, like videos, namely like special like content for. Sorry, I'm moving myself a little bit. There we go. Oh wait, no, I can just move myself. This way. There we go. <laughs> I'm picky. But while we had originally thought of like doing like one video a month, at the same time looking at some of the things that we want to do, especially our video discussions on certain things, especially with one that we now have to plan with the Nuketer clan, those are going to take a lot of time, love, and care, especially if we're going to do these topics right. So we are hoping to do one video every two months, not every one month. If it happens that we get uh, a video out every one month, cool. But that's not we. That's not what we are going for. The videos and extra things on the side are going to be more. I get more hobby than anything compared to streaming and everything else. So, yeah. And for a little bit of consistency, especially given how much of a load that we're putting on ourselves, Discord community events we hope to be consistently monthly, once a month, instead of once every week or once every two weeks that we were experimenting through 2023. We are realizing that it gets a little complicated trying to schedule all the stuff that we want to do. But on top of that, trying for us to try and have community events every two weeks kind of leaves the Nuke Tear Clan's community in the dust a little bit. And that's completely on accident. But given the fact that our Discord server, the Dream Domains, is a collaborative server between the Nuclear Clans and us. We need to give them just as much space as they have given us to create our communities and create and, and create the environments that we instill. So, while we like Road to Dust, Terra Ball system, we'll be having community events only once a month. At the same time, this is meant to be in hopes that the Next Year Clan will feel comfortable having their own community events once a month as well. So, meaning, ideally, a community event will be happening in the server every two weeks. But we'll see how things go. But the last one that I am really pushing for, and this is going to require a lot of personal introspection, as we've been already going we've already been going through this like a little bit but when we finally start being able to go to like our therapy this will be this this will be extremely helpful allowing other system mates to front more while the road to dusk as a platform i road have advertised and talked about trying to have this be a spot where other members of my system can feel comfortable to front. I do also recognize that like, namely because we are, that a lot of our switches and a lot of our struggles are rooted in severe trauma. And this is something, this is a hurdle that we are trying to work on in order to ensure that we can have the healthy multiplicity that we want. Because of all that, it has been difficult to let others be able to front because everyone has been so used to having to front only in times of trauma or only in times of trauma response. So we're hoping to, to change that, flip things around a little bit so that others can be able to play games, show their interests, and interact with our friends and interact with the community. But, yeah. 
I feel like and hope that these will be some pretty uh, pretty simple goals for all the different things that we have planned to contribute throughout the course of this year. Here's hoping that everything goes well. That said, let's migrate over to our... Oh, uh, where is it? There's the button. Let's migrate over to some drawing because... Oh boy. I've been needing to draw for a while and I've also been kind of scared too because my tablet is on its last leg. The <laughs> charger port is not wanting to cooperate and I have to finagle uh, the cable to stand in a particular way in order for it to even attempt to get a charge. So it's annoying and I have already uh, prepared, I've already gotten a new tablet on its way because this this month is already pretty fruitful uh, in, return, in regards to like how my paychecks from like my main job are going so very thankful for that which is going to make trying to do upgrades just so much easier <laughs> That said, if anyone is here wanting to chat, feel free to talk about your goals. What are some things that you have planned for 2024? What are some things that you're anticipating? goals to survive. That's a mood. That is an absolute mood, Elk. Also, Elk, I don't know if I have my stream set up to, like, the proper, um, like, topic, I guess, over here on Picardo. So if you think I should switch it to a different topic, uh, let me know. Like, not topic, um, like different community. Should I have this as just like basic art, anime, drawing? How should I go about this? Think character design is good. Got it. Be like I was saying earlier, my current tablet is on its last leg, but because of positive financial situation that I am in right now with this month, I have been able to already order my uh, replacement in advance. The tablet that I have is old. It's an iPad 6 Gen, and it would cost more 
to try to buy a charger port replacement and like charge uh, somebody the labor to try and replace this than to just get a new tablet especially when that's upgraded so I decided to just bite the bullet and upgrade so I got a nice gen coming in at 64 gigabytes instead of the 32 so I'm happy my tablet is worth more than me <laughs> wow swipes there. I wish I was joking. Do I dare ask what kind of tablet you have? Because goddamn. Also, you know what? Let me change the music. Ooh. That feels nice. tired. I can now. Obviously, I did get a head start on working on this person. This is Sunshine in a Box. This is going to be... Well, I don't know if Sunshine in the Box will be their, um, their official VTuber name, but Sunshine is our beloved um, Skyfarer Captain Tree Elf's sister. And... She is thinking of getting into VTubing, so when I had a donathon some time ago, Flarg had one, and he had dedicated his win to his sister. So with that, for those that want a refresher on that, so you walk on Syntec 27 QHD Touch. Right now it's worth two and a half thousand pounds. Fucking hell. I am just content with my walk home into us. Like, when I do stuff on my computer, I really need to get back into doing stuff on my computer instead of this thing. Get my baby. Bear. Completely valid. Hopefully being 1080p um, isn't causing too much delay on Picardo right now.
I lowered it to 478.15. It's not doing too bad. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, because your internet shite. Personally, I would avoid going above 720p because a lot of people can't watch above that. Like when it comes to like me having like my streams, so I know some folks are able to watch 1080p, though it can be heavy on the bandwidth. Sorry, I also have the nukes here is coming in and out of the office every so often. You doing okay? Like, the biggest reason why I'm trying to screw around with 1080p is namely because I want to be sure that my computer can handle it for folks that do have, like, the higher graphics and means. Because also it just feels nice to be able to be like, hey, I got my stuff in high def. Because I mean, like, also, it's not like me streaming at 1080 is barring people from being able to lower the quality on live streams if it's absolutely necessary, which I know sometimes Twitch, for whatever reason, depending on the streamer and depending on the time, just doesn't um, allow people to daggum change the thing uh 10 1080p is approximately three gig an hour which is too much for my net especially 160 fps that's fair Hold on, you're buffering. Let me refresh. God damn it. Thank you. 
My net is barely surviving 478, not gonna lie. Fuck. How bad is your internet over in the UK? Fucking hell. I would not be able to... Th this sounds... Th th for me, personally, and I'm going to preface this that this is just for me, personally. Especially if I wanted to stream and especially if I wanted to interact with folks. Let alone just watch shit and have shit in the background. I don't know how I could survive with that slow of internet. Like fucking hell. You poor sweet, sweet summer child. I'm nocturnal because I can only get 10 megabytes at night. Right now it's 10.91 download and 2.91 upload. Oh boy. With a household of four, doesn't go a long way. I can only imagine. Like, cause like my internet is fucking, uh, 300, 300 down, like at a minimum, like, like at a bare, bare minimum on a bad day, five down. No, no on a bad day, five upload. Our upload is still incredibly fast, and like we we have so much better internet. Like holy fuck! Good lord, I'd be in heaven. Oh fuck yeah, I am in heaven. When typically what's seen as like a standard for like high internet is like 50 down or like 75 down. No, I need 100 down minimum. I would open web pages without waiting five to ten minutes. Oh, you sweet darling. Oh, I worry about you. I could play Final Fantasy 14 without 2k ping. Oh boy. Hey, 
hey, we might get fiber in 2025, possibly because the government's getting rid of landlines. Dang! Let's see if that is any stronger. It would be so, I would be so powerful with decent internet. <laughs> I could stream again. Hell yeah. It would be cool seeing you stream again. Goodness, I'm planning a short stream tonight because, dear fuck, the fact that I am already fucking tired. Then again, it was a slow day at work.
These are going to be some weird ass brains, but this is the best of my brain is attempting to make these. I'm just gonna have to make it section by section. Offline? Okay, never mind. I refresh and it's back. Oof. Man, it is really not liking you. Freeze up on me. me oh wait I just re this whole fucking time y'all haven't been able to see could have sworn that I was connected but apparently not so y'all have just seen the a still image for the past fucking half hour I am so sorry this is the progress that I've done. Wow. Just all this time that I've been like just talking, chilling, doing a thing. Wow. <laughs> well, what way to make uh, the start of the new year special than with a little scuff? Because God forbid we ever have any stream that goes decent with, like, no difficulties. I thought you were just getting distracted. Yeah, I've just been here drawing! I've been doing so much shit! I've been working on the braid! Oh my word! Oh my word! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck, you know. Because that's why you kept hearing me be like, wait, 
Wait, because I'm trying to talk to my tablet that's fucking dying to be like, hey, come on, keep going, don't crash on me. I don't need your shit. Yeah, look, I know I'm ADHD and autistic as fuck, but like, I don't get distracted for like 30 fucking minutes and keep a stream fucking going. At least I try not to. <laughs> Thought you were talking to the nuke tears. I was for like a little bit, but then they left the office. Because uh, they have a special guest over and they are doing cuddles. Yeah. Wow. Just, just wow. Okay, okay. Ah, my fingers. Let me check my... No way in fuck you're actually at 100%. Oh, and, pro and Procreate is shitting itself. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hold on. Give me a quick sec. I forgot I had to be up in three hours. Go to fuck to sleep. In the words of Samuel L. Jackson, go to fuck to sleep. If you want people to keep me company, like, spam people you know to be like, Hey, watch this dude. <laughs> I kid. I fucking kid. I'll fix that later. Sleep well, Elk. Mm. Yeah, I think I've ended up making their braid shorter. Let me see how it is when I add one more. Ah! 
quadrilateral, excuse me. There we go. Come on. Come on, process. There we go. And yeah, actually just one more here and then we can get to a little tuft at the bottom. Hold on, I need to name these. Braid back one. Braid back two. Braid back three. Come on, work with me. Oh, whoops. Braid front two. part there and then the tuft and then I'll make eight parts for the front. Oh boy! I live. Hey, Drake. Hope you're doing well. I also started the new year treating you. You missed all the goals that uh, I semi announced that I'm going to be anticipating for this year. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that is raid front seven. Now we can finally get to the tuft. Yes, I know. I know you're dying. I know you feel icky. Come on, tablet. Stick with me for a few more weeks, and then you can be put to rest. Come on, buddy. Dude, you ever have cheese that's melted? Well, that was melted by a chicken patty? That's some bougie shit. <laughs> nah, I, I, I haven't in a while, but also, oh my God. I have been raving shrimp. I have been craving shrimp. I have been craving sushi. I have been craving like true, true, like authentic kimchi. Like I want the good shit because the shit that's near me, it is so bland. It is so bland. It hurts. They're, they're pugo. The, the purugugi that's like uh, from a spot that's near me tastes so fucking bland and so wet like it's not like it's not even saucy it's wet why where is the where, where is the marinade purugugi one of the biggest things with purugugi is the fact that it has a fucking bomb ass marinade and what these fuckers near me are calling fucking beef or chicken brugi tastes like the blandest shit. It's like if the, it's not brugi. It's like if you would take fucking. It's like if you would take strands of beef or chicken, make them into like noodle sized chunks. And just slathers and just put like some seasoning on them and cook them and say like, hey, yep, that's purugogi. That's not fucking purugogi. Cause like let let me fucking tell y'all for anyone that has not had authentic Korean food, when you have had authentic Korean food, you will understand the what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Cause oh, it is some good shit. It is some good shit that I miss. That hurts my soul. I like Pugogi. Yeah. There was one spot that I would frequent back when I lived in, the, in uh, Oregon. It makes the most 
perfect purigogi that I have ever fucking had. And they're like an authentic Korean restaurant. And it's just awesome. It was fucking awesome. I really hope that I can go back at some point, even for a vacation, just so that I can go over there and have that purigogi again. Especially when it's spicy. Like, don't get me wrong, like, their normal purigogi, their, their normal purigogi is also pretty good. But if you really want to challenge your palate, go for the spicy. Well. <laughs> well, that was the first crash of the night. Oh, wow, my tablet is hot! Drake, hope you've been doing well. Do you have anything that you're looking forward to for uh, this year? Any goals? Anything like that? Also, yeah, this needs to be much smaller. Actually... I think after this little tidbit, actually, I need to work on the the utility belt and the gloves before I go to like any coloring. I also need to work on the flowers and her braids. Fuck hell! Why did I make her design so complicated? Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? just combine the ears for now. too thick. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know you can do it. Thank you.
ha. I love how the first thing that I ranted about was about fucking food. Meow. Hey, Draggy. Did you just call them Draggy? Yes. Dork. Takes a dork to know a dork. Yeah. What are you wanting to play with my hair? For for context, the nuke stairs are here and they are a little zooted. Okay, very oh, zooted. <laughs> Free! Oh, oh Dogman, oh. how's it going? A lot of people are hopping in all of a sudden. Hey, Tree! I can't really do Tree. No, that doesn't work. Bam. Greetings from Yeehaw Land. Oh, yeah, you're in Texas right now! Tell Star I said hi. I'm here just checking on and peeps. Now she's a cutie. Yeah. Oh, so you want to hear something funny but also slightly annoying? 
I've been, I, I was drawing for going on, I just realized Star's pronouns have been on here. I have been draw. well, I had been drawing for like a good half hour, just chilling, talking with Elk before he, uh, before they realized that they needed to go to sleep. And I, apparently, uh, apparently my, um, mirror play was not properly on so people were just seeing the same image the same still image for like a half hour while i thought well i had just been going away on my tablet drawing shit <laughs> oh my god funny did i show you what i drew on magma uh, if it's in the side chat from a while back, I believe so. Star isn't here just yet, but she will be in about an hour. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, tell her she's a cutie when she gets there. Yeah, though in a half hour, I will be hopping off just because. Early, my early and short stream. What do you uh, work tomorrow? Noon to five. Ooh, oh, poor thing. Yeah, ladies have Thursday off. Nope. Oh, you poor baby. I work. I work today, tomorrow, Thursday, off Friday, back Saturday. I have Spee here though. Well, Spee, how you doing? Hey, Spee. You poor thing. Ow. Well, snap. <laughs> Hi. You excited for tomorrow? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> try, try to keep sober for at least part of it. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantees. Yo, that looks really cool, dog man. I'm honestly digging the shading style. Ugh. Can you guess me a soda? Blazing everywhere. That's a mood. Oh. That is big brush. Fuck. Oh, come on. Come on, tablet, work with me. <laughs> uh, for those that are actually just hopping in, I do have some news. Um, things are going well in the finances department to the point where I have a replacement tablet coming in. This one is on its last leg to the point to where not only does it overheat super easily, but the charging port is starting to go kaput. It's been going kaput for a few months now, but it's now really, really showing its age to the point to where I have to finagle with not the cable, but the tablet itself to be sure that it's charging. So I figured this is like the, this is a signal saying this thing is almost gone, gone. And I've been needing to replace and upgrade my tablet for a while now. So, yeah. Electronics mood. Yep. So, I have a replacement tablet coming in. That should be here within the next few weeks. And considering it would cost more to buy a replacement um, charger port and have someone be paid for the labor to replace the charger port as old as this thing is that it would cost more to get the charger port and pay for the labor to replace it than to get a whole new tablet I just decided to get a whole new tablet and put a little bit of extra money to actually upgrade to the currently what I'm using is a sixth generation 
iPad, I am migrating to a ninth gen. So this is gonna be really nice. Youngins and their technology. Oh, pff, fuck off, you're the same age as me. At least I'm pretty sure you are. Or at least you're around there. So yeah, until the new tablet comes in, I gotta baby this one a little bit and tend to it a little while longer. very much excited for when the new tablet comes in. Lines. So many lines. Yep. because every page is just the most worth what in the world Spee hope you're doing well Spee has arrived Did, did you forget that you had an E, Drag? Spee sitting on the other couch. Gives a speed to The card will be in a road about me trying to log in. Damn. Skill issue. Say the word and I'll tackle the wheel. Your username on Picardo. <laughs> Fucking hell. What y'all working on? I am working on the PNG for a friend of a friend. Um, Y'all know Captain Flarg uh, on Twitch. Our beloved Minecraft VTuber and Tree Elf. And Tree Elf, that is the captain of a skyship. Uh, his uh, sibling has decided to want to get into VTubing. 
And during my last Donathon of last year, I had had a raffle for those that would win would be able to receive uh, stuff like VTubing assets for, uh, up to $250 in value. Flarg had won and bequeathed the win to his sister. That being who we are drawing here. So I am drawing all of her assets from a uh, P from a PNG suitable for both Fujitech and for PNG Duper Plus, as well as some custom uh, some custom streaming cards, as uh, and um, chat and overlay uh, stuffs. Tree observes Road being a nerd. It's not my username. It's the action card. Nope. <laughs> Very nice. Nice and hard work. I see. Very nice road. Thank you. Hopefully... Well, I know the head I'm gonna have to resize a little bit just because I can tell it's a little off-kilter. I want to have the fingers of the... I want to have the fingers of the glove a little thick just because well it's a glove and they're gardening gloves specifically so those have to be thick and durable <laughs> ah Username words. To do it, just use slash me at the start of the at the start of a message. Huh. I did not know that, but that is adorable. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting head pats. hand is still egregiously way too small. This sleeve needs to be Lots 
thicker. I believe in your skills, my friend, for a job well done, Leanne. <laughs> Thank ya. It's funny because Spee's phone is a bit behind on the stream, so I hear... <laughs> you just hear me laughing, completely delayed. look a lot more stable and not as blurry. Oh, the tablet is not like me right now. Lost the password and see no I hear it twice. Once on ah was yeah, the- oh, the password countered. Wow, that's small, I just realized. It's because I tried to move everything around, but I forgot to change the size of the password counter. But the little password counter is just for, like, shits and giggles. If there's any point that, like, someone does, like, a key mash and it fits the prereqs to be a stable password, we add it to the password counter. There we go. Yes, that will be an example, Tree Blood. Let me see how the proportions are. Get all of these for the head. Smaller. No, that's distorted. There we go. That to me feels a lot better. The head feels more proportionate. The <laughs> are, are we wanting to count that, dog man? See, my favorite thing to do on a phone, because I'm easily entertained, is let my phone's predictive text try to create a message. Bold of you to let auto <laughs> auto correct. <laughs> doubt that Sunshine will be doing any kind of like teasing like what our community does so I think we can actually get rid of everything of the body except for the neck
her phone is a murderer. I've been trying to go <laughs> What in the world? Alright, and I need to... Let's add this to the bodice. I will have a few questions about my schedule. <laughs> I'm gonna make toast. <laughs> does not like me right now soon my dear soon you will be laid to rest I'm still messing with my phone's predictive text sure phone's so aggressive because we made him that way well not technically we but like manufacturers Boba. the predictive text goes based off of words you usually type so it is us raising our phones in a way yeah true on a completely random change of subject because i just remembered this who knows the anime redo of a healer
What do you guys say to people? <laughs> Happy for everything, that door. <laughs> I don't know what the murder text says about me. I would assume it says that you joke about murder a lot. Great Britain is the world's greatest provider of boneless. Speed is <laughs> Redo is troubling. No, it is absolutely. Oh boy, it's something. Like, I commend the. the author, because this is a. Re because Redo of a Healer is based on a web novel. I commend the author for wanting to go against the mold of revenge stories that do the whole oh that that have the whole turnaround he's definitely making Kaoga or Kaoga relentless and a monster and it makes me wonder like is there going to be a point to where we have to stop rooting for him because like Especially in the ways that he is trying to get his revenge, it is diabolical. Redo of a healer is fucked, but so good. I, I, I agree. I can't look away. I can't. Like, um, fucking Nukes Harrison, we actually... We, we were watching it while we were high recently, and we actually finished the entire first season, and we want the second season so fucking bad! Is from Elder Scrolls Eater does everything Omori or anything with doggos. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Like everything Omori as in like being so traumatized that <laughs> you have an internal battle with yourself on whether you should stay inside your consciousness or not? The fuck? Our phones are high. Apparently! Oh, fuck. The fuck just happened? That's apparently the wrong color. Oh, son of a bitch. If my phone is a reflection of me, then I am always everywhere else but where I am. 
That's a fucking mood, though. Whether it's because of being ADHD or just from being zooted. Guilty as charged mood. Everything. Let's darken the bustier a little bit just so that's easier to see with everything. Darken the pants as well. I would say that's all pretty good proportion wise. My phone has also, for some reason, picked up typos as well, and I don't know why, like, goodbye <laughs> with an H. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Oh, boy. Also, give me a hot sec while I decide to have a soda at almost 1 a.m. Because I'm an adult and I make totally sane decisions. <laughs> No, that nose is not going to work. Let me take the face from here.
There we go. zoom out. Let me zoom out. My phone's still very much a baby. I got it on the 27th, so it's just recreating sentences like a typical child parroting words. Your phone is a parrot. It is burb. See, I'm done with New Jersey and the kids. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. Tree abandoning his phone child. <laughs> The tablet really doesn't like me right now. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I'll have it here for now. the eyes just a little bit closer to each other. Yeah, because the ears typically... Come on. There we go. That's looking a bit better. contextualized we can
Come on. Cupid's bows tend to be pretty short. And it crashed again. <laughs> Do you guys know S Centaur World? Have you watched it? No, actually. So happy you found it useful for your fork in this, for your work in the subreddit. Why did I read work as fork? with me goofy ass <laughs> must watch short series I'll take a look at it
I'm gonna have to redo that because I think trying to incorporate the Cupid spell is what's throwing me off. Okay, that looks a lot better. The outfit looks so regal, but the face is just so just so sweet looking. Speed's fell thing this phone thinks everything is a gallon jug in my phone. So, <laughs> my word. Alrighty. Actually, one thing that might help it. Where's the base hair? Here's the hairline. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So, I think this is where we're going to end it for tonight. Because I only expected like two hours extra to stream. And we got to that point and my tablet is struggling. It is struggling. Just a few more weeks and then this baby can be put to rest. Because oh boy, it is hot. Yeah, no, the top of this is very, very hot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have not been able to find a replacement bot for um, for what I used before for like everything here on Picardo. So we are going back to a bit of bare bones. Mix It Up does not have um, compatibility with Picardo quite yet because Picardo is just not as popular, but here's hoping that that will be fixed up soon. Uh, that said, let me actually pull up my commands to maybe do stuff, because I can still manually do stuff so long as I have the chat open. Uh, actually, while I'm doing this and preparing, hold on, checking a thing. Okay, so this does remind me, uh, for folks that are hopping in and don't know the goals that I set up for this year, let me run through those real quick. Uh, we have quite a bit going on, but we have five goals written here, six of you include one for Picardo. For the first goal, less community polls. We, like, my sister and I have definitely grown a lot more confident in just doing stuff for ourselves, especially for streaming, and we definitely need to encompass that a lot more on, like, on stream and in our community in general. We need to have confidence in ourselves that what we do typically will draw people in instead of relying on you all to make sure that we're making stuff that you enjoy which already we we should have realized that you're going to enjoy what we make regardless of what we do 
It's just going to be a matter of feeling confident enough to boost our reach while making the content that we know deep down that we love. So here's that here's to less uh, community polls and whatnot. And here's to hoping that y'all hadn't felt uh, that we were hyper reliant on you guys in that regard. Um, another goal specifically for Twitch is that 420 uh, Twitch followers and see if we get the funny number. It would be even funnier if we got to 500 followers on Twitch. I think that would be I think that would be really neat. Also, we are super close to 100 uh, members of the community in the Discord right now. Let's see if we can push it to 150. Curiosity killed the cat with that. Now, I know we talked about wanting to do um, videos on the new uh, YouTube channel every month. With all the stuff that we have going on, we've had a bit of a reality check through the course of like the holidays and also getting and also having dealt with COVID for a second time that trying to independently push out one video a month on top of our streaming, on top of our other work, on top of our commissions, on top of a whole bunch of other stuff, that's not going to be very feasible. So we are cutting it down to a more sustainable one chance, uh, one video every two months. So yay. Uh, also, we are hoping to have a once a month Discord community event instead of once every two weeks like we used to. And I know that we kind of fell off on that towards the end because of everything that was going on with the holiday season. But this having uh, community events for us only once a month will also give the Duke's Hairs time to be able to have community events of their own. Uh, we also have a thing written for like letting other system mates be able to front more and be able to be part of the community a little more actively, which that is going to take some effort on our part since we are very, we and our switches are very much rooted in trauma, and this is going to be something that we're going to have to work on, especially to encompass the healthy, multi healthy multiplicity that we talk about. And a goal that is not on here, but I would love to help see if we could get, is to see if we can get 50 at minimum uh, followers here on Picardo. A hundred if we can really push it. Because I think that would be super cool. But yeah, that's all that we have planned goal-wise for 2024. We don't have like big um, milestone incentives, whatever, plans like we did last year for like if we hit certain follower milestones. We'll play everything by ear. We'll, we'll go where the wind takes us. So that said, now I finally have access to my commands. If anyone is here that wants to check out, uh, that wants to like learn more about me and my system, what we do, feel free to check out the official card. Uh, if you also want to become part of the uh, part of the community, feel free to check out the Discord. Didn't know to like my streams. Uh, it is an 18 plus community in collaboration with Nebulas Noctis, aka the Nuketeer Clan. We are LGBTQ by two, two spirit plus neurodivergent disability and mental health forward, and we do our best to uplift and like respect and advocate for BIPOC voices regarding their own experiences. Uh, if you want to support me, there's a few ways that you can do that. Um, not only can you go on to my Kofi to request commissions or send donations, but you can also check out my throne where you can check out some of the goodies that I have had on there that I have been eyeing that I might not be able to get myself at the moment. We unfortunately are not able to like raid out to anyone right now with Ricardo, but here's hoping that maybe, just maybe, Ricardo will work on something like this for the future. That said, do you know the while this is the end of the stream, this is not the end of our time together as the roads of dusk will always be open for another adventure. 
Thank you all so, so much for sticking around. Please have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your time zone, as we say. Bye-bye.